everybody, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. My name is Kestrelstar, and this is Kestrel's Vanilla's Minecraft Survival. Um, welcome back. This is episode 5, and as you can see, we have progressed quite a bit so far. We have some decent stuff now. So what I'm hoping to do, um, this episode is hopefully, as you can see, that little pillar over there, that marks a ravine. And what I'm hoping to do this episode, what I'm hoping to do is, um, go explore it and hopefully find some more iron so I can get, like, iron, iron, iron tools and everything. And it's, it's very weird, my computer has stopped screeching at me, but, um, it makes everything feel kind of empty. I'm not used to it. Why does it stop screeching? Be annoying. Be annoying. It gives me something to listen to. Because I, without it, I mean, this is mostly silent for me. There's no, like, music or anything. Which is particularly weird for me, because when I'm not recording, I, like, constantly have calming music on. Uh, I'm just killing the daily salmon. So, um, yeah. So what I want to hopefully do in today's episode is gather resources and hopefully explore the ravine, because we didn't... We found it, um, last episode, I believe. I am running out of room. I do not need lever. Okay, I need to put stuff in my chest, though. Um, wow. Storage is always a big problem for me. The, whether I'm in, like, survival or creative or... Really, in all of my Minecraft worlds, storage is always a very big problem for me. I need to, um, I need to <laughs> make another chest. Oh, I can't build a double chest there. I guess I'll just place it there for now. And put, like, all of these broken tools and stuff in here that I- I don't really need this stuff, to be honest. So, um... Wow, it's like so quiet. Without my computer screeching at me. It is so quiet. Oh. It's not going to be quiet much longer. It's- It's getting dark. Okay, I am going to not mine at night. And this is a perfect- This is gonna be perfect for demonstrating um, our state-of-the-art bed, because I didn't actually get to try my new bed, uh, last episode, because I decided that I'd actually, um, spend the night, um, out there in the plains, just one last night without sleeping, um, but now that we have a bed, it means we'll be able to get a lot more done, because we won't really need to, um, worry about hostile mobs anymore. That's not going to be a problem. That is not going to be a problem anymore. Um. <sighs> glow item frame. Why? Why would I want that? No. Go away. <laughs> I can make six. I should probably make a flint and steel. That's, I'm. Oh, I don't have any iron. Well, let's not. Can I sleep? Yay! <laughs> I can sleep. Hello. Um. So welcome back. Welcome back. This is Kestrel's Vanilla Survival. Um, make sure to watch the video all the way through to the end. I know it's like 30 minutes long, but um. I'm, I'm sure at least some of you will enjoy it. I personally enjoy watching longer Let's Play videos like this. 
And I I really enjoy making these. Um, when screencast matic actually does what I want. Which is, like, almost never. But, um... <laughs> um... <gasps> Bonk! Oh, it didn't insta-kill him. That was disappointing. Oh, there's a big plane's by him over there. I haven't gotten over there yet. I have not gone to that plane's biome yet. I know there's a plane's biome, like, over there, but... I have not gone to this plane's biome, and there's more sheep, but I don't- I don't need sheep anymore, so they can just live their lives in peace. Okay, I need to s cook these, though. I need to cook these pork chops and salmon, so I don't starve to death. Let's eat cooked chicken. Um... But, um... So, for those of you who, um, don't really know what Kestrel's vanilla Minecraft survival is, pretty much, um, it's basically, like, a normal 1.17 Minecraft survival, only we have, like, some data packs installed. So it's, it's kind of vanilla, but kind of not at the same time. Let's cook these, and you know what, let's cook the salmon at the same time. Oh, is this already? Okay. Okay! We have food! Okay. Uh... Where's my bucket? I want my bucket... Wood. Oh, it contains the milk. Um... Torches! Okay. We are going on a little adventure. We're going... We're going into the ravine I found. This is probably not a good idea, but you know what? L let's do it. Um. So for those of you who don't know what Kestrel's Vanilla sh Survival is, it's basically like normal Minecraft survival. Only we have some like data packs installed, and data packs are basically like if you remember like one command things back in the day. They're basically that. Only you don't need command blocks. Um, there's like tons of cool tutorials about them. I, I really cannot do them justice. Whoa. Ah! Hey, that's not cool. Why did that? Oh. I think something did it. Yeah. For some reason it... My updated signs and old or textures packs, for some reason, whoa, <laughs> that took a long time to load. For some reason, um, loading in. There we go. Now the ores look ory again. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so how am I going to get down here? That's a good question. There's water down there. There's this zombie villager. Why isn't he burning? He's like exposed to open sun. That's. Oh, Enderman! Oh, Enderman! Oh, Enderman! Oh, he's holding the block. Okay, I don't think Enderman can actually drop Ender Pearls if they're holding the block, so he will be spared. Um, so far, I've not had any luck with getting the Ender Pearls, which kind of sucks. Um, because I, I want to go to the end. Um, one of my main goals for this series is going to the end and killing the Ender Dragon. I've never really, um, beaten Minecraft before, um, except for that, like, one time I killed, like, 40 Ender Dragons on Bedrock, but it's Bedrock, it doesn't count. Is that even a game? Um, I, I would more call that a, um, store with free minigame that is kind of minecrafty <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to regret that decision this is going to cost me many subscribers you know what I don't really care I don't really care um I do this um 
One, because it makes me happy, and it's fun to do, and also because, um, it's kind of hard, like, to stay motivated working on a, like, a survival world like this for extended periods of time if I'm not, like, doing a video on it, um, because doing a video, whoa, um, just really, um, helps motivate me and stuff. Let's have this. Um, there is water down there, but, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to get back up. Oh, those water streams look like they lead to, not the surface, but somewhere. They lead to somewhere, but I can't, I don't know where. <laughs> but, um, what, should we just jump down there? Okay. We are in cave. I haven't really been in any cave so far in this series. What is... Oh, he's holding something. Why are they all holding something? Can I please have an Enderman that's not holding something? Okay. So the two data packs we have are um, Incendium, which enhances never generation, as well as the Bracken pack, which is why I jump funny. Um, it adds, like, new races you can play as, I'm a Fae Folk, um, which is, like, if you watch any of these clips, you'll notice I have a very unique combat style that you'll never really see in any of my other Let's Plays, or anything in general. That's really because I'm a Fae Folk, because, I mean, this attack style works good for me. It wouldn't really work that well if you were- Oh, Dripstone! I didn't know that generated in this update. Uh, oh, that is- Why is there so many creepers? Can you- Can you- s Please- Honestly, Skeleton, you're being very annoying today. Oh! Oh, yes, I killed him. Uh, let's not go that way. Let's, um, go this way. Yeah, th this way seems way better. Axolotl swims. Where is the axolotl? I don't- s There's an axolotl! Oh! I want to imprison it. Mine. You're mine. That's not what I meant to do. Oh god! Swim! That is all- Hey! Don't attack- Ha! Ah! I'm also now trapped in being killed by a skeleton. Okay. I- I've successfully kidnapped an axolotl. Oh. Why is it so hard to jump- Okay, I'll just- I'll just- Walk up here like a normal person. I'm sorry. Oh yes, more iron. I I need this iron because I have full iron armor and a shield, but um I don't have iron tools yet, which I'm going to need. Um should I take the dripstone blocks? I don't think so. I don't think they're really used for anything. Uh, it's kind of a shame. But, um... Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Uh... Guys! Oh, can I make them fight? Can I make them fight? Yes! No, why aren't they fighting? They literally just shot each other. Aren't you supposed to fight? Yes! Haha! -ha. Oh, he's still trying to get me, though. Die! 
Oh no. Run! Run! Eat the apple! Okay. Question. How can I get an apple from an oak tree? Um... Oaks produce acorns, not apples. Okay. No! Do not chuck me into the void. I would not like that. Okay. I got axolotl. I got seven raw iron. I got what I came for. Now it is time I do be leaving. Um, I can't heal, which is going to make this kind of hard. Particularly since I believe, yeah. Oh, it's not turning nighttime, it's like already nighttime. Huh. Oh yes! The surface realm! I found the... Uh... This looks dangerous. Ugh! Ow! Okay. I'm just going to peacefully cross the river. Hopefully nobody shoots at me. Kill a salmon. Die! Okay. I have salmon! I ate it. Didn't heal me that much. Oh, that is a zombie. I... I am leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye! I got an axe bottle. And iron, I guess. Okay, smelt the iron! Um... I can't really do much <laughs> Uh, I need, I need a home to put my friend the axolotl in. What should we name our axolotl? I'm, I don't know. I do not know. Okay, why? I, I'm kind of scared by the fact that my computer has stopped making weird noises. That's probably a bad sign, actually. Um... I have no food. Oh. Well- <laughs> Oh, there's no food. There is iron, though. So, um... Iron pick, I guess. Yay! I have an iron pick. And an iron sword. Okay. Let's sleep. Okay. I wasn't sure if it would let me sleep, because it sounds like there's zombies right outside. Uh, sorry if I'm being a bit quieter in this episode than usual, it's just... It's weird. Not constantly being annoyed by the noise of my computer. Okay. Hopefully everyone has gone back to bed those zombies are particularly creepers i hate creepers i haven't really actually i believe i have not died yet once in this entire five episode series which is impressive considering that i really am not good at this game oh wow Iron sword much more effective. Which is surprising considering it only does one more damage. Okay. I am just going to this river is going to be devoid of salmon.
Come on. Come on. No. You can't run. Why are they running? I don't understand. I just want to murder them. Okay. Um. Our, the episode is almost done, but, um. We've got basic iron tools. Um, we still need a shovel and a new axe, though. I guess a hoe too, but I honestly don't seem to be using the hoe much, considering that I haven't really needed to expand the farms yet. Um, also, the farms have basically provided me nothing. I've eat. I have gotten one bread from that farm, and that is that is all. So far, these farms have not really helped me at all. Um. Oh, copper. Oh, iron. It was right under. Oh my God! This is a lot of iron. Why is there so much iron and copper? Why are they so close? Coal. Why are all of these ores, like, jumbled together? I've never really seen something like that. I guess... No, but it wouldn't It wouldn't be something like that, because... There's no new generation in 1.17, that's 1.18. Huh. Okay. I will build a hole in the ground. Um, I'm good at doing that. It's kind of what my house is. And... Bucket of axolotl! Okay, I hope he enjoys his new home. Um... That I... Forced him into. <laughs> this, is, this is probably not... A good thing to do. Because... I kind of just ripped an axolotl from its home and stuffed him there. Um, well really, it's it's not his real home. His real home is in Lush Caves, but Lush Caves do not exist. Lush Caves are not real. They can't hurt you. Honestly, um, I'm kind of just disappointed about, like, the one point. 17 or not 1.17 I guess it's 1.18 now um because if I were to make a cave update I would make the cave biomes entirely separate from the vanilla biome system um and not just like biomes themselves not normal biomes because I honestly don't like the fact that they're normal biomes it you should be able to find a lush cave in any biome you go to. And also because the lush cave grass looks very bad. I do not like the lush cave grass color. Um, wow, this is going to take a lot of water. It's going to be worth it. We'll have a little axolotl friend. Which I definitely did not steal from its natural habitat. Can can it really be considered its natural habitat? I mean, axolotls are meant to live in lush caves. That's where they live in real life. Minecraft has taught me this. Oh! See, this axolotl is bringing us gifts already. He, he gave me infinite water. It, yet... Axolotl's AI are, is kind of buggy. <laughs> I will say that. I've noticed that with axolotls. They just kind of seem to sit around and dance a lot. Um, I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't think they're supposed to do that. I don't remember them doing that in, like, the older snapshots. But in, like, the pre-release, when I checked that out, and... I actually tried to make a video on that, but uh, it, it didn't go so well. Um, 
I I just like went completely silent there. Uh, really, there's nothing else to make really with this iron. So I have full iron stuff now. I am fully done. Wait. Oh wait, no. That's not the full stage, is it? It's supposed to be more golden. Oh. Betrayal. I've been betrayed. Okay. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this episode so far. We're almost done. I generally like to keep my videos... Um, not over 30 minutes. Um, but, um, we're almost done. I personally had a lot of fun with this. Um, there wasn't as much interesting developments happening as in our previous episodes. I mean... Basically, we just explored a ravine for a little bit. We got an axolotl. We got iron. Um, that's kind of it. But, um, I think for next episode, I think what I want to do is go on an adventure and explore the whole, like, area around us. Or maybe the episode after that. I'm not sure. Um... I am trying to upload daily now. Um, I've been trying to upload twice per day. Two to three videos per day. And I've been doing pretty good, I will say. I mean, this is second day in the... Well, I don't know if I'm <laughs> making a second video today or not. I don't know if I... I can't see the future, is what I'm saying. Uh, probably, though, because I usually, usually, um, if I'm playing, like, Don't Starve or Minecraft or anything like that, my play session is going to be around, like, an hour, at least. Um, so I typically split that into two 30-minute videos. Occasionally, it's much, much longer than that. Like, for example, the NSPG mini-movie series? Um, if you've seen that, that was all, like, recorded in one sitting, um, with no real plot. <laughs> yeah, uh, the story <sighs> could use a bit of work. Um, I do think I'm going to be making more mini-movies soon, and hopefully they're a bit better. Um, but that was, like... An hour and 30 minutes. An hour and 40 minutes, actually, probably. But I split that into free, roughly 30 minutes video. I mean, the first one is 30 minutes, the second one is 41 minutes and 7 seconds, and the third one is 39 minutes and 33 seconds. But, um... Oh yeah, we have this loom. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, because I don't have any banners and I don't know how to make them. Um... Candle. Red candle. How do I make candle? Where is can candle? String and honeycomb. Huh. Um... I personally really enjoyed making this video. This was very fun. <laughs> I will say that. Um, it wasn't quite as eventful as some of our previous videos in the series, but um, it was definitely very interesting. Um, I got to explore the underground for the first time, really. I haven't really actually been able to check it out in this series at all. <laughs> And, um, I got iron tools, which is nice, so I'm a bit better off than I was before. And, um, I captured an axolotl friend. Let's check on how he's doing. Um, do I have, I still have my bucket on me? 
looking good. Look at him. He's adorable. Little muddy axolotl. Oh, Enderman. Enderman. Does. Is he holding something? He better not be. I want the Ender Bro. I am going to the end. I mean, I guess I could barter with piglins, but I'm not green. So I'm not allowed to cheat. Where is Enderman? Where is. Enderman! I know you're making sounds. I can't hear them, but I know you're making them because I have subtitles. Bat screeches. Bat screeches. That means there's a cave. Oh. Somewhere. Oh. Okay, I'll explore that next episode. Um, I want to, um, Salmon, come here. I'm not, I'm not going to ki kill you or eat you at all. Nothing's happening. Come on. Nothing's happening. You're perfectly fine. I will kill your family members, though. And eat them. <laughs> um. So. Mr. Axolotl, uh, requires a sacrifice. I'm not sure what I'm going to name our Axolotl. Uh, but we must feed it in order to appease it and prevent it from consuming our souls. Wow. <laughs> Okay. The axolotl has been fed. That was <laughs> No, don't do it in the furnace. I just wasted fuel. We do it in the smoker. I keep going for the furnace. I don't know why. You would have think I would have learned my lesson by now. But, uh, with that minor, uh, sacrifice is all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. I really enjoyed making this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, well then, dislike and unsubscribe. <laughs> I don't really care that much. Um, but, um, yeah, that is all for today's video. I, this wasn't quite as eventful as our other episodes so far, but we did get some stuff done. We got iron tools, and we have successfully imprisoned an axolotl, um, and we're, we're definitely making progress. Um, whoa. And that is all for today's video. Goodbye and farewell.